Tully, you all right? This is crazy. Who's there? Are you ever going to listen to me? Johnny, wait! First of all, congratulations on the film, both of you. So what was it about this story that spoke to each of you? Just life. Life and love and fear and guilt and wanting to say sorry for things. So it's, it's, a, it's a world we all get, we all understand, and that's why I think the film's really successful. It, it somehow explores that terrain really beautifully. What happened to your face? Cut myself. Sleeping? My sister. She's gone missing. Laura Wishart has not been seen since Christmas Day. If you have any information, then please come forward. Rachel, what is it like to have the author not only write the screenplay, but then be on set to kind of talk to if there's anything, any issues or anything like that? Yeah, look, apparently that's an unusual thing to do. Um, and I don't know why. Having the writer available, I basically just completely used him and exploited him. <laughs> I'd say, what do you think of that, Craig? What do you think of that? What do you think of that? So getting someone's view, who you trust, and who had imagined it all in their head, um, is really valuable. It's Jasper. Who? Jasper Jones. For some people, it's a story about coming of age and growing up and what that really means. Uh, for, for other people, it's, uh, it's an examination of, of what it is to grow up in, in the margins and to, and to feel like an outsider um, and to move towards acceptance. Uh, for other people, it's more social commentary. That's when storytelling is so great, when it reflects back the human experience in a way um, that touches you. I think that's when it's at its best and it's a credit to Craig because he created this work and um, it really does resonate with people and I think the film is having the same effect.